great when I tell you to defend yourself at all times. Shake hands, boys. Good luck. Good luck, lads. Well, final words from one of the most experienced referees in the business. This is scheduled for six three-minute rounds. Marvin Hagler, can you ever remember any novice professional making an entrance like that? No, but I, I remember when I fought here in uh, Wembley 21 years ago, when the lights went out, and uh, when uh, at the front, I mean, when Alimenta came out, it was a scary type of feeling. This is the right thing that I think that Milton is doing, is going out there and get the butterflies right, right out the way. A good solid left hand from the Olympic champion. All that is past the head. Guard is off, the vest is off, the big gloves are gone. This is the real business. And everything that he achieved as an amateur, he'll have to put behind him. And what a good left hand that was. Middleton has taken a couple of good solid shots from the man to whom he's conceding over two and a half stones in weight. Three or four inches in reach. Well, you know, it's going to be a big difference here seeing him fight professional and not as an amateur. And sometimes you carry your amateur status. But now you can take your time a little bit more and put your punches together better as a professional. Well, he's got him for the third time with a left and a fourth. And this may not go past the opening minute. Middleton has taken a couple of hard shots. Well, you can only beat what's put in front of you. Middleton is in front of him, and Harrison is going about it the right way. Exactly. You know, we don't need no more uh, big upsets here, do we? But uh, uh, Millington is just like uh, Leon Spinks. Like I said, he's got nothing to lose. He's got no money. This is a great opportunity for him. Can you imagine? We don't need another upset here tonight. <laughs> and as you said to me not too long ago, that if a man is on the canvas, he can't hurt you. <laughs> well, Harrison has started in splendid style. Good variation. He's got him again with that left. That's left number six. Middleton, well, a decent club fighter, a decent journeyman, as we would say in this part of the world, has felt the power of a man who is two and a half stones heavier and is so determined. Harrison needs this win. He'll take it whatever way he can get it. Middleton, no doubt, will take the money no matter how it comes. Dave Paris has taken Middleton back across to his corner. Jim McLaughlin is in there. I think the uh, gum shield just came out. Middleton will be glad of the little breather. Well, you can see, I can see that uh, Harrison is concentrating just on the jab. Right hand, hook, nice left hook to the body. Well, this he's towering right. over, he really is towering over his opponent, and that left hand has been a, a terrific force. That's the hand he hurt in Sydney, and he boxed all the way through the quarter and the semi-final. And at one stage, had he failed a medical, he wouldn't have been allowed to box in the final. But he came through, he won the gold, Britain's first for 32 years, and he started again. Middleton is wobbling. Well, you know what uh, Milliton is doing, he's backing up so that Archie really can't catch him with a good, solid shot. Oh, he's got him to the ribs and he's got him with the left. Middleton's in all sorts of trouble. It's all over in the first. It looks like job done. You can the fight has gone to six, it's gone to seven, it's gone to eight. Middleton's got him and Dave Paris has looked at him and said, don't be silly. Middleton's saying, I can go on. Dave Paris knows his business better than anyone. And Audley Harrison has started his professional business, perhaps not better than anyone might have said, but as well as we can be expected. He's very dis disappointed, Harrison. He wanted to show the crowd his hometown, the homecoming, and he didn't really get that opportunity. Uh, for me, Millington, myself, was just looking for a place to lay down. As I said, you know, just getting in the ring, that, that first fight, it's, uh, it's extraordinary. Well, Middleton came out and he did what we thought he would do a little bit longer. He threw a, a decent right hand, which Harrison may have been susceptible to, but after that, there was, it was one-way traffic, Marvin. Well, I'm really surprised that he showed up. <laughs> <laughs> what a terrific performance by Harrison, irrespective of the opponent. And obviously people will say, well, Middleton wasn't up to the job, and of course he wasn't, but Harrison was up to the job. What a terrific finish that was. A series of stunning left hands, and then he moved into the body with the right, and that was it all over. Harrison, I think, will be hugely disappointed that Middleton didn't put up more of a contest, but here's how it finished. Well, you know, this is what I was saying. Middleton was trying to go backwards to take the pressure off of those straight right-hand shots. But the shot to me didn't, I didn't see a real clean shot there, a good right hand the way that I was expecting. You know, just to... Well, there's the ref cam, Middleton protesting that he's fit to continue. The eyes are glazed, the nose is bloody, the spirit has been broken, and Audrey Harrison 
cool as the proverbial cucumber has put the glasses back on. Thel Torrance and Kenny Croom will be pleased with that. They might have liked two or three more rounds, but I'll tell you something, Marvin Hager, we'll see more rounds oh, from yeah. Audley Harrison, but I don't think we'll ever see Mike Middleton here again. Well, I think you've got to bring in better opponents now. That's what we need now for Harrison, to get in better condition, get him more sharper, and get him prepared for that uh, world.